Good morning guys, a miracle just happened and I got up from a workout class. It's the last thing I wanted to do, but I thought it's just spin and it's a short, it's like 45 minute classes. So it goes by fast, it's easy, and I'm going because I don't want to lose my class credit. <sighs> last night was at the Dallas Book Club and it was so much fun. And then I stayed up last night. This is why I'm tired. I, okay, everyone has been telling me to read the like, a guitar series well actually that's not true half of you guys have said i would love it and then the other half which is like that at this point like hundreds and hundreds of messages saying i would absolutely hate it and i've tried to get into it like three or four times and i think i've been reading it at the wrong i know i've been reading it at the wrong time but i'm like this is not the kind of vibe of book i want you know but i feel like this is the perfect time it's like winter and like christmas you know and i still don't know how i feel about it i ended up buying it and i'm like 20 percent of the way through and i i'm like I'm gonna make myself finish at least the first one. I'm a little bit confused, but I'll figure it out. I think everyone who's telling me I would hate it uh, seems to forget that I grew up on like Twilight and the Hunger Games and stuff, you know? So I'm gonna give it a shot and see. Let me know if you guys have read it, how you feel. Also, if y'all want to join the Dallas Book Club, you just read the book and show up. I have to figure out what book we're gonna read in the next meeting. I have to email them today. My Geneva home, which I'll have, I have linked always. We have a room for the Dallas Book Club. So just join that and you'll be in the loop. Anyways, I'm on my way to spin. I'm going to class studios. And I'm very excited now. I'm glad that I got up and got going. I always just feel a thousand times better throughout the entire day if I got to work out in the morning. So that's what we're doing. Oh my gosh, guys, I keep yelling. Okay, guys, I just walked to Starbucks after spin. Feeling very active. Spin was really fun. It was like an early 2000s theme class. Spilled water all over myself. I have my normal coffee. I've gotten Starbucks literally every morning. Oh, by the way, look in a world. Guys, so today an episode of the podcast went up and it's with the shrink chicks and it is one of my favorite episodes i've ever posted actually this week two of my favorite episodes monday was the episode with brooke we talked all about books like how to become a reader kindle versus physical books our favorite books our unpopular opinions like everything is in that episode and i loved it and today's episode is with the shrink chicks and they're actually therapists and they are talking about um we're basically just like going through like how to handle hard conversations the holiday season feeling lonely mental health family dynamics family drama like basically the not so like good side of the holidays is in that episode and i wish i had that episode like years ago i love them i literally want them to be my co-host i'm like obsessed with them but anyways um that's all on the i love you so much podcast so go listen also today's the last day of vlogmas i realized that when i was in spin class i cannot believe it it doesn't feel that crazy because i'm gonna be vlogging every day this holiday season i'm also getting air sculpting done to my chin so there will be some some like chin vlogs plastic surgery vlogs it's so crazy plastic surgery sounds so serious and i really just decided on a whim like i know i've wanted to do this for a long time and i looked into it forever ago but like as far as the date went they called me last night and i was like you know let's just do it because the timing actually works and it's rare that timing works so i'm gonna go home and get on with my day tonight we have the pop-up i have a blowout at like 12 30 i've got a lot of vlogs to edit we're just we're getting it going. This Christmas party tonight is going to be so much fun. I'm very excited. Last day of Vlogmas and I finally have a camera tripod. This new dress from Skims. Look how cute. I'm obsessed. I want to wear this all the time. This and like a blazer and Uggs. That's so cute. I will definitely be wearing this. And then I ordered this sweater from Aritzia because I had credit from a return. It's just like a very... Classic cream turtleneck sweater. I need a shower, but I'm actually gonna pick out my outfit first. I also feel like, okay, these are cute. I got them because they're like Love Shack Fancy-esque. And then it has like a matching sports bra, but something about this makes me feel like I'm five. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but like, I don't know, maybe it's because I never wear printed anything, but I especially don't wear like a printed workout set. Something about it makes me feel like I'm five years old. Still cute, I actually got it at Denovo. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna wear, just to be comfy tonight, these pants, like so festive, they're the O'Kind Ryan pants. These Uggs and like a tight long sleeve. Okay, this is my outfit for the morning. I'm just working from home and then I'm going to get a blowout and I'll probably read my book or I'll work depending on how much I have to do. 
maybe I'll keep reading Akatar or whatever. Watch me like be saying it wrong, you know? Here we go. I have my like chocolate brown Uggs. Skims like boxers. I really probably shouldn't be bringing these in public, but like I don't really care. Skims top and then I have this blazer. This is just my really cozy, cozy look. Butts and stuff and then my options. And then I ended up All right, I got my blowout. It's like really crazy curly, but, and I'm gonna brush it out, like our finger come through it, but I am getting the blowout for the week. So I wanted it to be like tighter and crazier today. So it falls well the next couple days, especially this weekend. I have a lot going on this weekend. It's gonna be a really fun vlog. I'm so hungry. I have food being delivered at my house right now. I've got to go home and get ready and then head over to Genovo for the pop-up to start setting up. It starts at 4. It's currently like 1.40 and I want to get there at like 3.30. So really, I got to get going. All right, guys. I just finished my makeup. I used these clips so I wouldn't have a crease in my hair and this is actually the first time that's happened. My blowout is not, like, I don't know. I feel like my main purpose for blowouts is for someone else to like dry my hair. If you have extensions, you know. Also, I feel like it lasts longer and I'm working on my hair health. The only way, I'm trying to just wash my hair once a week and just get it healthier. The only way I've been able to do that is mainly from blowouts because when I wash my hair, it just like needs to be washed more often. I don't know. Um, my blowout's like, okay, I'm not like obsessed with it, it's fine, but it's gonna like brush out tomorrow and throughout the week to be great. By the way, the NARS palette that I got, I really like and I want more of them. So I think that's what I'm going to ask for for Christmas. Um, just like another NARS palette. This one is so pretty. It's just like really bronzy and stuff and I want like other options. Throwback to naked palettes, guys. Like that was like when I, I remember for Christmas is all we would ask for would be naked palettes and we were like so obsessed. So here is my outfit. I have this white top on from Aritzia, my Ryan pants from the O-Kind, Uggs. Um, I'm gonna bring this sweater just in case it gets cold. It's not going to. I think the weather drops like Saturday or something. Um, but this is like a cute little moment. Like I'm looking like a grandma, you know? Preppy looking like grandma, love that for me. And then of course I have my puff bag. I need to pack my car up and leave like now. It's raining and I am so tired. I'm gonna get a good morning from Tribal like immediately once I drop off the product and park because I'm so tired and Tribal is like right across the street from where our pop-up is, which is at DeNovo Active. Why do I literally always, always, always miss this turn? Mm. This is me right now, covering my hair. Guys, I'm here with my good morning drink. The best drink ever from Tribal. Mix it all together. It's juice and espresso. Oh my god. If I honestly got Lauren, so I could only drink one drink, alcoholic or non-alcoholic, for the rest of my life, it would be this one. That is how I feel about this. It is just so good. All the food there is amazing. I'm just like, I'm literally, do you know anyone who loves tribal as much as I do? No, I don't. And people love tribal, but I I'm just the number one fan. Okay, well, I'm about to bring stuff in. Perfect. Start setting up. I'm, um, I should have made this vlog. Like, I got a job in retail. Yeah. Maybe I should still do it. That'd be funny. Getting a job in retail. Honestly. It was in my group chat. Guys, the pop-up curse. It's continued. I told them I was my new job. I got something in my eye. And like it hasn't come out. Like no, like I wish I was joking. Oh yeah. To bring me some business. No, I thought you meant my eye. I was like, I wish. And I'm like, oh, she's on her lunch break. She's ill. She's uh really busy today. She's not working today, actually. She actually is she off, but like, it looks like I'm high. I wish Just I was high. Just in one eye. No, same. Same. Like, I actually... No. <laughs> it's not good. 
Okay guys, we just finished the pop-up. It was really fun. When we do like long pop-ups like what that, oh. And what I was guys, I, you me caught me just. Okay, when we do pop-ups like that, that are like so long, like really, really busy, then it gets dead, then it gets busy again, then it gets dead. And then I always feel awkward because like when people come in, I don't know if they're coming in from like the store from like the O kind, you know what I mean? But it was a really good time and we had so much fun and I just like love doing like events and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll be doing a lot more stuff in 2023. I have a lot of ideas for what I want to do, both on the influencer side and for like events for every drop. Like I have a lot, a lot of ideas and I'm very, I'm really looking forward to them. So anyways, my eyes are crazy guys. Like, I don't know if you guys know this. If y'all are like newer to the vlogs or you didn't see these vlogs or whatever, every pop-up that I have, something like happens to me. And like, I want, you know what? Third times, threes, everything happens in threes. So maybe this is the end of it. First one I did at DeNovo for Breadwinning Housewife was like such a hit. And I had a corneal abrasion. That was the most pain I've ever been in in my life. Second one, obviously, most recently, I was in New York, and I had, oh my god, guys, like, hold on. Like, it's just literally the cutest place ever here. The next one, um, I was in New York, and I had food poisoning, and I was so sick. Like, honest to God, never been so sick in my life. And then just now, I was like, oh, this is gonna be great, whatever, and then my eyes, like, I'm like, am I allergic to de novo? Like, I don't know what it is. It's just like, really unfortunate. Also, it's raining and I feel like, I mean, the top of was great. Don't get me wrong, very grateful. But it's raining and like, no one leaves their houses when it rains. Like, it's actually crazy. I'm realizing the more and more, especially to like, go to Bishop Arts just because it's a little bit out of the way. But anyways, it was a really fun event. I love Lawrence at DeNovo. If y'all are in Dallas or visiting or whatever, you need to go in there. They have like, the best fitness wear and also like, I am such a like, Bishop Arts fan. There's so much to do. Yes, it's like, five more minutes of a drive 10 tops but it is the coolest neighborhood there is so much to do because i cannot believe this is the end of vlogmas like i'm sorry i feel like this vlog was a little bit lackluster but i was a working girl like what do you expect of me and of course my plug for the okind go get your christmas shopping done at the okind.com the puff bag is the best bag ever present under a hundred dollars you need it the scarves as well 85 the best scarves and the best bag you'll ever 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 have so go check them out theokine.com anyways i'm heading home i am just gonna have a little chill thing this weekend's gonna be really crazy like i've already booked an iv for the morning and like that's how you know you know what i mean like that is how you know it's gonna be a little out of hand we have lauren's birthday dinner which i've planned completely in bishop arts actually tomorrow night I got like a private room at Paradiso. We're getting a karaoke room at Casablanca. It's like a whole thing. So my blowout today was honestly a fail. Sometimes you get really good ones and then other times, I mean, honestly, it, yeah, like, I know I'm brushing it, but like, this is just not it. Also, it did rain, but like, I didn't really get my hair wet. I don't know. It, uh, it, it, regardless though, makes the biggest difference when they actually like dry it and style it because I find that it doesn't get greasy nearly as fast as when I wash my hair. I need to do some skincare. I wanted to talk about my favorite podcast lately because I've been adding some into the mix. I've been like a true like Gen Z internet kid. Weirdly, I've like actually been really into impulsive, which is like probably the last thing you'd ever expect of me. But like there's just certain things. TK has always been like an impulsive fan and I've liked them for a while now. Um, but she would always tell me like the podcast is really good So I, was li I would listen to like certain ones and whatever and like something about like the banter of friends every week I love like that consistency Um, I also love Jeff FM with like when Tana's on. I think they're really funny. I also love Tana. Obviously, it's getting confidential Uh, World's First Podcast is like my like main go-to's top rotation like those are the ones that like I really don't miss much of. Update on my anxiety and how I was feeling just so like, not the best, not myself. I'm gonna use my Tatcha spray. Still don't know what this does, but I'm gonna spray it. I'm feeling a lot better and I'm realizing it really was like PMDD. Like yeah, it's the time of year or whatever, but like I feel totally fine now. I still do have things of like, Feeling like I'm not doing it off or successful enough or like, I, you know, fill in the blanks. But like, I feel so much better now and I really think it's my PMDD. 
and it like really does come in waves i am about to go back on meds but i've been having a lot of issues with my pharmacy so like i am going back on meds i just haven't been able to yet and i'm feeling better i'm glad i finished vlogmas i think maybe vlogmas like contributed more to it but i also think it just highlighted it more because i was filming myself on those days because if i like that happens like monthly but i'm not always like filming myself that much on those days like i can take like a day or two or like i'm like I'm just not gonna talk about it, you know what I mean? Like I, but like when it, I'm vlogging a day, I have to talk about it because, but like when I'm vlogging daily and it's like one video per day, I have to talk about it because it's more of the like remainder versus where I'm vlogging like a week in my life or something. I can just not talk about it, vlog around it, and like be fine, you know. So I think that like vlogging every day also amplified it because like sometimes when I talk about things or I talk things through. Or like, it's like more so like I'm focusing on it, if that makes sense. Like I think it's good to talk about it and talk it through and whatever, but like somehow when I'm filming, I feel like I'm making it worse because I'm making it a bigger deal than it needs to be and sometimes my emotions will just pass and they weren't like true. You know what I mean? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas. I'm going to start a weekend of my life vlog tomorrow. Love you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.